we commemorate the citizens of over 90 countries who perished in the attacks on September 11, 2001. The memories of those who are missing will never be forgotten. And today we will keep alive the virtues and values that make us who we are and who we must always be. At those dark moments 10 years ago, the American people came together. We showed the best of our community spirit and our sense of unity. People offered a hand to their neighbors and once again proved their love of community and country. On that day, no matter what race or ethnicity the American people were, they united as one American family. The sense of responsibility that we felt for one another was not a fleeting passion, but a lasting virtue. Today our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature, and we responded with the best of America, with the daring of our rescue workers, with the caring of, for strangers and neighbors who came to give blood and help in any way they could. We also commemorate all victims of terrorism in every nation around the world. We honor and celebrate the resilience of individuals, families, and communities on every continent, whether in New York or recent tragedies in Oslo. Resilience takes many forms, including the dedication and courage to move forward. While we must never forget those who we lost, we must do more than simply remember them. We must sustain our resilience and remain united to prevent new attacks and new victims. For our cause is just. Our spirit is strong. Our resolve is unwavering. Like generations before us, let us come together today and all days to affirm certain inalienable rights, to affirm life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. We celebrate the resilience of communities across the globe. Worldwide, terrorists have failed to achieve their goals. Individuals, communities, and nations have shown that they are stronger than fear. Far from being paralyzed by the violent actions of a few, the vast majority of people around the world are focused daily on pursuing ambitions for themselves and for their children, achieving greater levels of education, creating new economic opportunities, and improving the systems that govern them. 